In any other situation, we would have book bags, shoes, coats, um, binders, lunch bags, all the things that come home and come along with kids. But the way that we have set this place up um, to work for us, I would love to show you guys in hopes that it would give you some inspiration to tackle that one space in your home that you just cannot seem to figure out. everyone welcome back for those of you who are new my name is Melissa and I am thrilled that you stopped by today so today is simple Saturday and I want to show you um, just a different way that you can corral all of your kids school things into one space so that you are not constantly walking over shoes coats backpacks binders all the things I mean it can become just totally ridiculous so we have a specific place in our home. It is right off of our garage. This is our garage door right here and you walk into this area um, and that is where otherwise things could be all over the floor. You're tripping, you're stumbling, trying to get into the rest of the home. But the way that we have set it up, um, it actually works for us. It contains everything and I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now how we have done that. So as we walk back here, I will show you um, kind of how we have things set up just to try and contain everything that we have to do in the morning and when we come home from school. Um, normally this could just become a ginormous drop zone and I didn't want that. I wanted there to be enough places for my kids to be able to put things so that I would never hear, I don't have anywhere to put it, I don't know where this belongs. You guys get it, you know the drill. So I'm not gonna get into this in this video. Um, this is our control center, and that I will actually be showing you in a video, um, not this coming week, but the week right before Christmas. So stay tuned for that. But this is our garage door. This goes out to our garage, and you come in, obviously there's this bench. I know not everybody has that amount of space, but if you can just find a tiny little stool, a chair, even just a space on the floor by your garage door of things that you absolutely have got to take out of the house the next morning or that day or whatever. A lot of times um, if I have returns to different places, I will put them here on this bench. So my kids have um, music tomorrow. Christian's got his um, guitar and drumsticks in there. And then this bag is actually Chloe's piano books. And so that is there, ready to go. We'll see it in the morning. We won't forget it. Um, and it just makes things a lot easier and quite honestly, a lot less that I have to think about and worry about. That way I don't ever have to hear, I don't know where it goes. I don't have a place to put it. And then this closet right here, instead of just being a coat closet um, for our entire family, this is actually what we call um, the, the kids closet or the school closet. Um, we kind of call it both. But what I have in here is literally everything that my kids need every single day. Um, it's just a place to house all of that and I don't have to worry about them having to run upstairs to get their shoes. I don't have to worry about coats being hung up um, and then needing that last minute in the morning. And like I said, I understand that not everybody has a space like this, but even if you can just find a tiny little space to corral these things, lay your coats out at night, lay your shoes out at night, um, backpacks, all of that stuff, that way nobody is running around in the morning trying to find coats, shoes, gloves, hats, book bags, all that kind of stuff. So in here, and the one thing that I would love to change one day, is there is no light in here. Um, I have this little thing here that actually uh, the previous owner put in, so I don't have a link for you, I'm sorry. But I would love to get power in here someday because as you can see, this is just kinda, it's like a temporary um, light so it doesn't stay on very long. 
But what we have in here is at the top, we've got uh, sunscreen and bug spray. And then down below there, we've got adult hats and adult gloves. Uh, the white buckets are from Target and actually so are the black ones now that I think about it. I love these baskets. Um, I've got them all over my house. They're just great quality. I've had a lot of them for years and they are just um, really, really sturdy totes. Then uh, down below we've got outdoor sports. So this is like baseball mitts, um, balls, that type of thing. And then um, outdoor sports over here. So Christian's got his um, sunglasses. This is just a little caddy thing for his um, golf bag. And then Chloe has her knee pads in here. Um, there's a football glove in there as well. So just things like that. Um, whereas in here, we have more of this type of stuff. So that is what is in those. And then down below here, uh, kids hats and kids gloves. And then below that, this is where Chloe keeps her flute and her music book. Um, that way on the days that she has that, she can just grab it and go. And then over here is where we keep um, the kids' Bibles for church, and then they take these as well. It's just a um, Bible uh, crossword. So just something for them to do um, in church, but we keep all of that right there. That way, again, on Saturday morning, we can just go ahead and grab and go. Then over here on the door, I purchased this hanger, I believe on Amazon. I'll go back and see if I can find a link for it, but it is awesome. Um, I keep my Starbucks cups up there. And then down below here is where Christian keeps his um, binder for school. And then this is his gym bag. So as you can see, I'm holding the store open. <laughs> Let me explain why really quick. So I got so sick and tired of coming down this hallway and having the door be like this all the time. I was so tired of just constantly running into the store. So I had my husband put on one of those automatic shuts. And so I never have to worry about a door being wide open in the middle of my hall. Um, some people would say, oh, just make your kids shut the door, blah, 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 whatever. There are just certain battles in life that I'm not gonna waste the time fighting. So that is why we have that on there. Um, like I said, this is Christian's planner. Um, he takes us every day to school, so he just hangs it up here. That way it's there in the morning. And then um, his gym bag, and he has already got his clothes in there for tomorrow. So both of those things, he can just grab and go. And then over here, is where they keep their backpacks. So um, I had Sam hang those uh, hooks for me. Those are from Target. They are still in stock. I love them. They are really, really sturdy. So that is where Christian's is. And then down below um, is where Chloe's hangs. And then on the floor is where she keeps her binder. She keeps her um, glasses case right there. That way, um, it's just a reminder for her to grab her glasses um, from her bedroom every day. And then this right here, she has to take back tomorrow. So she's got that there. And then up above here are just all of their coats. Um, they've got their heavy coats, um, lighter coats and lightest coats. I love these hangers. I got these from Walmart. Um, they're just super thin but yet really, really sturdy, and I really like them. Um, originally, I had just kind of the plastic ones in here. Um, they're a little bit uh, thicker, and so they were taking up more space, but because this is a little bit higher, especially for Chloe, a lot of times we were like pulling, and then the hangers were breaking, and so I just figured, let's just get something a little bit um, more durable so there are their coats and then over here this is probably my favorite thing in here um so 
This is where they keep all of their shoes. The only shoes that they have in their closets are like boots or church shoes. Um, otherwise, down here, this is where all tennis shoes, all flip-flops, that type of thing are stored. They both have two sections. Um, as you can see, this, is a, this three set here is a section and then down below. Um, it, this doesn't go all the way back down there because as you can see, there's um, baseboard. But otherwise, they stack really well. And then I just went ahead and um, made up these labels just on my computer. Um, I didn't do anything fancy. It's just from Word. And then I got these little um, sticky things. And I'll link these down below. They're just from Amazon. But it's just like a place card for um, just offices that they use to organize stuff. And so I just stuck that on the front. And then... Um, just stuck them on the front of these. So what they have here is on the top, um, they've got their tennis shoes. I like that these, well, obviously that's not a tennis shoe. <laughs> uh, that just shows nothing's perfect, friends. So down there is where the flip-flops are. Chloe's flip-flops are over there. We'll start from the bottom. Um, outdoor play. These are just shoes that um, are for outdoors, ones that they've kind of worn through, but yet ones that they can go in the mud and stuff with. Um, this drawer right here, so also as you can see, I have half of a dryer sheet in here just because um, hashtag 13 year old boy. And so I just feel like that kind of helps eliminate odors that come along with those. Um, so I have one in actually every one of their drawers, but this one right here on Friday nights, we put the shoes um, in there that they are actually going to wear uh, Saturday morning to church. And that way they can get up, eat, get dressed, and the shoes are down here. It's not like, where's my shoes? What shoes am I supposed to wear? Whatever. We figure all of that out the night before um, because we actually want to go to church loving each other. <laughs> oh, go. So then um, up above there is tennis shoes. And so it's just where they keep, um, they keep all of their tennis shoes. So everything is just right here so that they can grab and go. And so that is what the school closet looks like. It's just super easy. It works for our family. Um, like I said, just find a space in your home. Even if you don't have a closet, but you can utilize a system kind of like this. Um, even if you just plain use the system for everything that I just showed you, um, you know, whether or not you have a system here that just has, you know, a couple pairs of shoes and then all of your hats and mittens and things like that, but just something that you know every single day, I'm going to be pulling something from this station and I'm going to be in this space every day and I don't want this space to look like an absolute circus. So however you can um, make the space work for you, just do it. It doesn't have to look like this. Um, this is just what, what works for us, but everybody's house is different. Um, everybody's lifestyle is different. And so if you can just pull a few different things from this to help make your mornings or your evenings um, a little bit smoother, then that is all that I am trying to accomplish here. Um, as you can see, I forgot to show you up here, I just have a little stool hanging. Um, and then down here on the floor, I forgot to show you because it was kind of hiding. Um, I just purchased this from Walmart and it's just basically a plastic tray, but it is for boots and so if we come in with snowy boots or wet boots or wet shoes um, I just have the kids stick them on there that way it's not setting on carpet or my hardwood or you know whatever um, if you can't find something like that honestly what would work is like the top of um, a Tupperware like those big totes just the lid to one of those would work perfectly if you um, have one that maybe the bottom is not in such great shape and you kind of need to get rid of it, you could absolutely use that. Just something that is going to um, not allow water to get all over your floor. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you all kinds of inspiration to just find one space in your home that you can corral all kinds of um, different things that you use on a daily basis that could otherwise just totally take over your entire home. If you're not following along over on Instagram, we would love it if you would join us over there. It's just a way for you to get to know me in a more unedited um, version of the way that we do life here. And if you have liked what you've seen so far in this video and previous videos, um, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We would love it if you would join us here um, on YouTube. We're just trying to live life more intentionally, more purposefully, um, and to not follow along with hashtag hustle. Friends, until next time, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye-bye.